try anything and you cancel, bro. Welcome to the Geet Up. Don't ask me why, but we saw Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2022. Yeah, we did. And Leatherface, he's back with a vengeance. Now, does this sequel stack up to the original and do it justice? Stick around because we're about to find out. All right, Billy, this is the ninth movie in the Texas Chainsaw Massacre series. Not that it matters, but who's in this? Well, number one, there's really only the second in the original series, right? It's supposed to be a sequel from the original Man, movie. Man, I looked so. this up and like 20 <laughs> movies came up when I was trying to find this. Yeah, there, so there, there, there ain't there, no there, second there. movie. This is the ninth movie. But this is the sequel from the original. This is the only sequel that's been made from the original. And as far as who's in it? A whole bunch of nobodies. <laughs> right, we got out here, you know, I, I, I get to look on my phone. We got Elsie Fisher. The only thing I've noticed, known her from, you know, you, when you look her up on uh, IMDb is uh, she played the voice of Agnes in Despicable Me. So I don't know how, uh, you know, how credit, you know, like, oh, wow, I haven't seen Agnes, any you know. of these people from nah. any other movies well, then, that and then, I recognize. And then Mo Dumford, the guy that played Richter the Mechanic, you know, I do recognize him from uh, the show Vikings, which is a phenomenal freaking show, by the way. But other than that, man, I didn't recognize any of these other people. Like, just a whole bunch of freaking B-rate nobodies, you know, they chose to play in this, in this movie. So. so, Billy does this to me every now and then, where he recommends a movie. He's like, Josh, we got to watch this movie. Yeah, everybody man. on Twitter's talking about it. I'm like, Twitter everybody on Twitter, up. he's like, eh, it's crazy, Josh. We got to yeah, watch dude, it. Twitter was, like, blowing, Twitter was blowing up with it, man. Twitter was mm, blowing up Chainsaw Massacre. Yeah, I'm sure it is. I'm sure Twitter <laughs> right now is just... Yeah. People are typing away about this movie. They were, they were, I'm telling you, man, look up on the Twitter. It's, it's on there, man. Go to the entertainment and movies. It's just there. It's there. So I recommend a lot of movies. I get them in these Love is Blind. So I'm like, all right, Billy, I give you a, a shot. Yeah. So pretty much all the horror movies yeah, you, we review, I'm not a horror guy. Yeah, you drag uh, me, recommendations you, from him. You drag me into all the chick shows. You drag me into the Big Brother. But you like them. You like them. You love them. Yeah. Well, this 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 year Big Brother ain't so great. And this, this celebrity crap. But but yeah, and, and I didn't think a movie could make Fear Street seemed like Citizen Kane, but this might be the movie that does it. <laughs> oh, dude, this wasn't that damn bad. You know? well, well, I don't well, know. Well, 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 I don't well, know. Depends on which Fear Street movie you're talking about now. That's true. You know, you know, Some are better than others. About. This is better than the first one, I think. But, uh, yeah, this wasn't a great movie. Let me you know, tell you something. This means. movie almost has no plot. They get into oh, dude, it quick. Yeah. And that's yeah. one of the highlights to me is that this movie is, like, only an hour and 23 yeah, minutes movie. or something like well, that. Well, then that's one thing that's solid. I'm like, dude, it's only an hour and a half. I mean, let's just watch it and review it. So. And I mean, some people might see it as a good thing that they don't even really try too much with the story and they get right into like Leatherface doing his thing. Yeah. Um, now, well, you want to break down the story real quick? Yeah. Because yeah. it's probably so, like a paragraph long and that's it. Right. So it's, you know, it's these freaking kids, these entrepreneur kids that bought the old town that like Leatherface in, you know, is from, uh, you know, Harlow, Texas. And they're going to divvy it up and sell it in this auction. Yeah, they're auctioning you know, auction to try and gentrify right. the area. But the lady that ran the local. Uh, the local uh, orphanage is still in it, right? And she's like, no, I paid for it. I got the paperwork. And they didn't believe her. And it turns out she was a lady taking care of Leatherface, right? I guess after he, you know, did one yeah, of his murder spree. Yeah, was taking care of yeah. Leatherface. And then the movie starts off, you know, they're in a Tesla. They're in yeah. Texas. So mm -hmm. they're kind of out of their element. Yeah. They meet a guy, like, like some for, redneck guy with a big truck, and he he uh, rolls coal on them, like you know, <laughs> and puts suit all over the car, which is a real thing. It happens to oh, yeah. you know Teslas yeah. and stuff. I own. Tesla's myself, so I'm familiar with it. Mm -hmm. So that was kind of interesting to me to see that. Yeah, and that, and that actually ended up being Richter, the mechanic, right? The guy, and, mm -hmm. and what he, well, he was more than a mechanic, he was the guy that was supposed to be fixing up the whole town, you know, so they could sell it, right? So, but anyway, so, you know, so these kids come in there, uh, try to kick, you know, Leatherface's, you know, adoptive mom, I guess, out of her house. She has a heart attack and dies, and Leatherface was on a rampage. Well, I say and this town, nice too, dude. looks like like an old West town, like yeah. almost like a Hollywood set. Like it has a movie theater, uh, even like though set, it doesn't yeah. look like it'd have a population to support such a business right, or anything yeah, yeah, like exactly. that. It just seems yeah. kind of odd and a little fake to me. Yeah, no, I did look like a fake town. It totally looked like There's no houses anywhere so, no, near it no, or totally, anything, so it's totally it's like weird. Totally like a movie yeah. set. Yeah, right. <laughs> so you know? they're just like, it doesn't matter. We get Leatherface in here, and that's <laughs> right. all you need. Right. And, and that's exactly all it is. It's basically this whole movie, just Leatherface running around killing people. 
And, you know, but I will say there's pretty cool death scenes in it, right? You know what I mean? I do work, yeah, let's get into know. spoilers because yeah, oh, dude, if we didn't spoil well, this, we would have nothing to talk right, about. Right, you, you wouldn't even want to watch it if we didn't spoil this. And you, <laughs> even if we're spoiling it, you know, you still might not want to watch it. But, uh, I mean, they're, they're, the first, so the first person he kills, you know, they're uh, you know they're trying to take the mother to the hospital, right? But he's like, you know, it was two cops. It was two deputies. Uh, she dies. And, of course, Leatherface gets pissed off. And he breaks the freaking deputy's wrist and jams his bone through his throat. I mean, I he like, just oh, grabs damn. his wrist and, like, <laughs> breaks it, it off like oh. it's nothing. Oh, I yeah, was just, like, what? Right, and, and then he takes <laughs> the dude's broken wrist and slams it into his throat. And freaking, <laughs> now, it's pretty brutal and gruesome, oh, but dude, it's totally kind of like, gory. wow. Okay, a lot, a lot of good gore. A lot of good gore in this movie. You know, I mean, it's, your, it's your typical slasher kind of gory type stuff going on, you know. And uh, that I did enjoy, right? I enjoyed a lot of the cool death scenes. You know, there's a scene at the end where he just freaking takes his chick's head off. And they made it look very real. They made it look pretty damn realistic the way he did and everything. I was like, oh, that was pretty cool. That's one thing. Yeah. I mean, you know, I've watched so many, like, Marvel movies, and the action is so <laughs> fake. The action is kind of, well, besides the wrist thing, right. uh, is pretty intense, and it's, like, over in a matter of seconds. Like, this Leatherface is not fooling around. Oh, no, no, no. And it, it, right. And so it's more realistic in this, right? So it's cool. You know, I mean, yeah, you're definitely not going to... Bottom line is the story doesn't even matter in this, right? Not really all that matters is if, if you want to watch a cool, gory... You know, death scenes, and then check this movie out. But the the, the storyline was pretty much garbage. Now, Leatherface is kind of interesting. I've seen him before many moons ago, but mm -hmm. I mean, these well, guys I mean, are really copy and paste. He might as well be Jason. He might as well be Mike Myers. He doesn't talk. He's able to get shot. It hardly impacts him. Right. What do you think of that? Like these yeah, these characters I, I, that I are think, very copy and paste, except for the way they look. Well, in the original. You know, they didn't make him, like, supernatural, right? I mean, he's running around killing people, and one girl gets away, and then he, you know, and he kind of disappears, right? And then we find him now 50 years later. Now, in this one, yeah, he's getting shot left and right. He's not much different from Mike Myers, yeah, except he's running exactly. around with the chainsaw. Yeah, I and mean, they made him, yeah, have supernatural powers, basically, in this, as far as, like, a dude just can't die, right? You can shoot him up all you want, and freaking, you know, carve his face with a chainsaw, <laughs> and he's still coming back at you. So, well, yeah. he fell in the... Uh, <laughs> The, the Lazarus water. pit there. Right, right, <laughs> like, he right, Ra's al Ghul's right, Lazarus right, right. pit. Yeah, that must have been what it was, right? He comes back to life, right? Yeah. So now I wasn't digging that at all. You know, I was like, you know, it was, it was, I was almost hoping that they were just going to kill him off and be kind of, all right, finally a fitting ending. You know, he's dead. Cool, whatever. But he got to go on his one last rampage and kill a shit ton of people before he died, right? And now there's this so. Sarah character that is a survivor, I guess, from the original, the original movie. Survivor chick, and yeah. she's ready to take revenge on this dude. So she's like the Jamie Lee Curtis of this person show. of this series. And she shows up and is like, I'm here to take him out. Where is he? Oh, yeah. And, and that, she, that was a little odd for me. Well, number one, it was stupid because she finds him. And instead of killing him, like he just kind of looks at her and walks away, and she could have just blasted yeah. him there. She you know, locks just, these kids in the car. I don't right. know for what reason. He yeah. can't leave the town. Like he ain't driving. Right, exactly. You see a light yeah. on, you know where he is. So she's like, "You're gonna be my bait," even right. though you don't even need them for bait. Exactly, because you just walked up on him and, and, and you're just pointing a gun at him. Like you don't remember me? Yeah, Say she, my name. She's so distraught name. that like <laughs> you know me. I don't even know this guy can talk. Right. But. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> dude never says two words in the whole movie. You know, and, and he's not overly impressed no. by her sight either. Right. And he kind of well, ignores and, and, and the fact that he's so mentally disturbed, you know, that she already knows that. I mean, where's, you know, human flesh? I mean, hell, he cut, you know, when his mother died in this, he cut her face off and yeah. threw her face on. His own mother. So it's like, you know, of course this dude's not going to, and if he does remember you, who, who the hell cares? Just kill him. You know, <laughs> you just get rid of this guy. You know, so just her decisions in this movie were just stupid. And all the decisions she made were dumb in this movie. You know, especially somebody who survived the first horror movie, you know, right? It's like, you think if anybody's going to be able to smart one out of it and make the right decisions, it'd be her. But no, they just made her an idiot. You know, what do you uh, think about the bus scene? There's a scene where <laughs> there are like probably 20 people on this yeah. like party bus and yeah, they're just right. having a good old time. Oh, that was and great. then old Leatherface great. steps yeah. in the bus and they have yeah. no way out. Well, what, what I loved is they're all a bunch of fucking woke idiots. And, uh, you know, and this guy's like, you know, they're, they're all, like, filming him, like, on their freaking TikToks or whatever. They said they're trying yeah. to cancel, yeah. cancel him. Yeah, yeah. he's like... He, he, <laughs> Leatherface, he's, like, I don't yeah, get yeah. canceled. And he, he freaking res with a chainsaw, and the guy's like, dude, what are you going to do, man? You try to pull anything, and you're going to be canceled. And he's just like... Rant. <laughs> just chops that dude up. I'm like, yeah! I mean, so he's going through these uh, people, and no one's uh, trying to stop him. Oh, no, they're dude, just no, like... Ah, don't kill yeah, me! Yeah, yeah, no, no. He mows through that whole freaking bus, man. It was great. That, I thought that was cool. That like, like I, I enjoyed that scene. I definitely enjoyed that hmm. scene where he was mowing through all these freaking little hipster, you know, no, <laughs> it's like a dream come true for you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, all, these, all these freaking idiots, you know. It's, you know, yeah, it was great. I thought it was a goofy scene. I thought this whole movie was goofy. So, yeah, it, I mean. No, no story. I mean, it was not a good movie, but there it was, are it was unless you parts. just want to see people get killed 
like in weird ways. That's all it was. That's, yeah. yeah, I mean, that, that I, was I, the, to me, I don't, yeah. I don't get that, but yeah. I guess there's yeah. a group of people that are. But for for slasher flick lovers, that was that was that was the highlight of this movie, right? You get to see Leatherface kill people in all kinds of crazy different ways, you know. And uh, I mean, that one dude's face gets like sliced half open, you know. You're like, oh damn, yeah. man, like, <laughs> he's got jacked up. I mean, so, the Richter character when he confronts him, like he's just oh, getting his head man. like bashed oh, in, yeah, dude, like yeah. the entire time, and yeah. it's yeah, that's pretty bad. Yeah, like, there's nothing left of that dude's head. When by the time Leatherface is done smashing it with that freaking hammer, you know, he's just done. It was like oh. I will tell you, another extremely goofy scene is the Tesla at the end. I own a Tesla, oh, yeah. Yeah. and I tell you, Teslas <laughs> don't work like this. You don't just right. like inner location hit go, and the car just drives there. Right. I don't even care if you have like full um, autopilot full self-driving or not. That's not how they work. The screen don't look like that. First off, you have to have your hands on the wheel. She's out like the moonroof, right. like looking back at some point. And, and the other funny part is like, they think it's over. He's dead. And he just goes up and like grabs her through the window. And I'm not saying he punches the window. He like finds a way to like rip through the glass. He literally just kind of grabs her. If you watch through right. the window right. and I'm like, geez, what the heck? He yanks her right out and, yeah. and chainsaws the head right off, man. That was, I enjoyed that scene. <laughs> I didn't like the fact they brought him back to life and made this, you know, made him like I said, like 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 Jason or Freddy or or not Freddy, but uh, Jason or Mike Myers. But I uh, didn't like that. But I did like the scene though when he just yanked her out of the car and freaking cut her freaking head off. Like, yeah. And there's kind of like a stinger. He goes back to the original house at the end, I guess. So maybe yeah. it's like, oh, we're gonna make another one with the original house or something. I yeah. I don't know, but well, I, I, well, I think they did. Yeah, I, th- I think they did that. You know, for a reason, which is why they brought him back to life there. You know, after he'd already been killed and all that stuff. So yeah, they're, evidently they're planning on making a sequel. Uh. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I, I, so you love horror. You I love like slashers. Yeah. So how, where on the scale does this fall for you? Because the story was just garbage and not very Do you really need a good high. story? And, when, really and like then when it's thing, right, you really don't. I mean, I, I enjoyed the death scene. I, I loved when he was mowing through that bus, man. I was I was like, yeah, that's great, man. And then I was thinking the same thing you are. Like, why aren't any of these idiots fighting back? You got one dude with a chainsaw, and <laughs> yeah. none of these fools are like, hey, let's take him out, let's tackle him, and freaking, you know, put a stop to him. No, they're all just running for their lives, and he just... You're next. Right, right. <laughs> like, who's next? Oh, thank you. Well, then the scene where he like kills two people at once with a chainsaw, like saw through the dude and into the chick. I was like, now I will say there were there were some cool scenes where like there is a girl at the bottom of the stairs trying to be sneaky. She sees him and he he's looking down at her and like that was a pretty tense moment. And then oh, he yeah. just like like throws a hammer at her or something. <laughs> I was like, dang. Yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> and she falls through the floor or something like that. Mm-hmm, so yeah. that was kind of cool. And All then right. there was another scene where uh, he throw he like slides the chainsaw across the oh, and floor and leg, yeah. so um, it was kind of cool i mean it's kind of weird because in other scenes where he's like you know using the chainsaw it immediately stops when his finger's not on like the trigger for it yeah. but like well, he and, can and throw and it across that, the floor that chainsaws guess. work right yeah so, so i'm like it would never cut and, her and like it that. doesn't really sh- i guess it's not too clear what that does to her legs because she is like running around a little bit after that so i don't yeah, know yeah. if it just hits her or cuts her right. or what well and, and the fact that you're talking this is 50 years later and the dude had hidden the chainsaw in a wall so Chainsaw's been sitting in that wall for 50 years. He pulls it back out and starts that bad boy right And I would right tell you, now. this chainsaw <laughs> like, is man. like uh, Captain America's shield. Right. It, like, pr- it like protects oh, her from shot. bullets. Yeah, it's, no, it's, shot. it's still yeah. like in it one piece runs. just yeah. fine. And I'm like, hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that chainsaw. I don't know how many bullets hit that damn chainsaw. Yeah, I'm like. But it, it just keeps going, it's man. It's plastic, yeah. right? Like at the handle. Right. But I don't know. Maybe it's right. made out of like animantium or something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I think it keeps going, man. Things like the Energizer Rat, man. And the way that chainsaw works where he's just going to town through, like, the house and stuff. I'm like, man, this would probably cut through Animanium. I don't know. (laughs) Yeah, no, that chainsaw, man. uh, He cuts through, like, I don't even know what it is. Like, an 8 by 8 like, you know, block of wood. Like, it's butter. Oh, yeah. So, I mean. Even when he's cut to that floor, as fast as he's he's going. Yeah, he's like, it's like following her. I'm like, what? Yeah, you ain't doing that. You ain't doing that. I haven't yeah. used the chainsaw in a while, but yeah. I'm pretty right. sure it's not and, that well, easy. And, and again, you know, you're taking that chainsaw out of the wall after almost 50 years of using it last time, and it just starts right up like freaking nothing, man. It's like, it's like damn, man. you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, like, <laughs> He you takes care of that thing, yeah, man. Yeah, he, he, it's hidden, but he, yeah. he brings it out, sharpens it, oils right. he, it. He must, you know, you know somehow. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, no, nah, I mean, it was it, it was just a goofy movie, but a lot of good, cool deaths. Uh, not a memorable movie, though. Yeah, you know, and that's the thing, right? It's nothing memorable. You know, I could forgive it if I was just in the mood for like Mindless I wouldn't say me. it's a scary movie but no, like a slasher movie maybe right. if it's Halloween I mean for me that's really the only time I watch like the, right. the month of October is really my limit to horror movies that I intentionally try to see yeah so. yeah this one uh, you know not the story in the first one was much better right first the first the original was much better this was not a good sequel to it this didn't live up to the 
to my expectations of what a good sequel to the first one would be. And the weird Hollywood type of town that they yeah, created. Yeah, the setup in that town mm. was not good. You know, yeah. Nah, I, I was disappointed. I was disappointed. Like I said, a lot of cool death scenes, and I did like him mowing through all those And there's some the bus, characters you, know? you think that are main characters that die like quick, oh, yeah, like yeah. they're nothing, right, like exactly. out of the blue. You're like, oh, well, I well, guess that person isn't the, the star of this well, movie. Well, that's kind of how the original is, too. You know, originally, you only, I think it starts out with like five people, you know, and he starts, you know, they all start getting killed one by one. I was like, well, okay, you know, down to when it's just the one left. So what but, do you rate this disaster, Billy? <laughs> I'm going to give it a, man, either a five or a six. I'm probably going to give it a five. I can give it a five because I mean, like I said, the only the only reason you should watch this movie is if you're just bored and you want to see some cool death scenes. You know that man, that's it. I mean, you're just a mindless movie with a lot of cool death scenes. You know, Leatherface just tearing it up, which was you know, like I said, some of it was cool to see, but it's not a memorable movie, and it's it's definitely not a movie. I mean, good thing is on Netflix because like if this thing was in the theater, I'd have been I would not have been happy to pay money to go see it. Yeah, I'm going to give this a three, which is the lowest I've Ooh. rated any movie since wow. we've done this show because. I'm not into horror. This movie has, like, no plot. I mean, as bad yeah. as Fear Street was for me, at least it had a plot. Not a very good one, but they put something together. This doesn't even try to put something together. Yeah. And, and I uh, applaud it for its length, though, because that makes it, like, pretty watchable, even if you're not really into it. Like, it, at least it's over quick. So. Right, right. It's a short movie, yeah. <laughs> but if you are into gruesome kills, then this, this might be for you. you. So I was definitely, if you're into Grizzly Kills, it's definitely for you. And if you're into this, uh, again, it's a quick watch. It's on Netflix. Yeah. So if you're bored. I guess you should check it out. If you're if bored you're and you that. just want to see some horror and, gr- and gore, then hey, check it out, you know. But other than that, not worth watching. Yeah, it really wasn't. Now, if you found a lot of enjoyment in this, then please let us know because I want to know who's out there and that's please, like this. And please explain to <laughs> I'm us. I'm interested like, in the stuff you're right, into. Right, right. Please explain to us. Like, if you thought the, the story was good, tell me why. Because. <laughs> <laughs> We were, I'm, I'm, I'm really curious to see why, if anybody would think the storyline was good, you know what I mean? Yeah, but, you know, because I sure as heck didn't. But, uh, hey, anyway, guys, uh, as always, hey, if you like this channel, you like our reviews, hit like and subscribe, and please talk to us. Like I said, let us know stuff about this movie and, uh, you know, the kind of a train wreck that it was. <laughs> but, uh, hey, until next time, we'll check you out our next review. See you guys. You sucker me into these every now and then. I thought this was like, you don't even like them yourself. That's the crazy thing. We could have watched Dog. Yeah. <laughs> I could have watched Dog. I could have, like, uh, been on Facebook watching funny cat and dog videos. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Is it your Texas boy? Is that what drew you in? You saw Texas in the title, and you're no, like, man, dude, I like your... I'm from Texas, so I got to support oh, no, the no, cause. What drew me in is they're saying it was a sequel to the original, right? You need a lightsaber on this guy or something. I don't yeah. even know. This is your movie, man. This is the movies you love. It's got Texas in the name. That automatically draws you to it.